Hello everybody. You may be wondering what Dan is doing. In fact, sometimes I wonder what I am doing. But what I am doing is securing this mini greenhouse polytunnel which blew away during Storm Freya. So I've rigged it up again, but this time I am absolutely making sure that it will not blow away again. This, oh, that was a incredibly stupid and annoying of me considering the uh, you know how well secured I've got the main poly tunnel here I really don't know why it bypassed me to, to not secure this properly but either way I've done it now and I'll show you the way I've gone around doing it so if you followed the video or saw the video I put up I'm just trying to get it right that's it a short while ago um, you may remember that I've built this raised bed and what I've done is I've built the raised bed and basically um, I've got this mini poly tunnel, mini greenhouse over it. And the reason I've done this is because I want to work on extending the season um, both sides. So I want to have, um, you know, the benefit of the earlier spring, if you will, by just raising the, the temperature and the soil temperature a little bit higher than it would be at the time of year, um, earlier and later in the year. You get me? So I'm extending it both sides. That's what I'm planning on doing anyway. And um, I think it's going to work because it, it, you know, it does feel warmer in here than outside. And certainly will when the, uh, you know, not particularly warm day today, but when the sun is shining, it will be lovely and warm in here. So. I can grow like, I might put some melons in here, I've got plenty of seed, seedlings there as you know if you've been following me, but um, you know I will have the option here of putting things like um, you know, kale, spinach, um, lettuces, whatever, stuff that you know can carry on later in the season and uh, will carry on outside but the extra warmth in here will act as the catalyst you know and also with things like kale and that uh, I can put kale in here and it will keep the um, cabbage white butterflies off as long as they can't work out ways to get in like little gaps down there believe me they do they're cunning things they really are but uh, yeah so you can see you've seen this one already so I've actually got this screwed on to, you know, the polytunnel frame almost. The, the bit of wood that's holding the cover on the polytunnel, I've screwed this bit of wood into it. It doesn't have to be anything special, but just so that it can't be lifted up and blown away. Of course, it's unlikely the wind is going to get in there because it's backed up against the polytunnel, but I still don't want to risk it. And um, I've got other um, you know, bits of wood. We'll go outside and I'll show you. I've just got to try and get out of here. Look, I'm in the old uh, poly tunnel there, the miniature greenhouse, and you know, that's how you get out. Okay, so you see that look, um, what I've got there. Bring the old camera up a bit better for you, you can see it. But you can see the mini greenhouse there, look, next to, next to the poly tunnel. And what I've done is you can see obviously the frame of the mini greenhouse and the cover I've screwed the cover using this gravel board here now these, are, whoops, these are what I quite often put um, at the bottom of fences you know when one puts wooden fences up but um, you know that's screwed onto there so that shouldn't blow away all being well I've done that that side um, here down there, I'm probably going to be putting bricks on there just to stop the wind getting under and lifting that up. I could even, if I wanted to, you know, put a, a bit of 2x4 um, along there with some posts in the ground and screw the 2x4 to the, to the posts in the ground and that would very well secure, secure it as well. Um, and down here, what I've done is you can see there, across that way, I've just, just an old bit of skirting board that I had uh, hanging about. And you can see that I've screwed that on. You know, you can see the frame of the mini greenhouse. You can see what I've done. I've screwed that to the two befores using this old skirting board. So just utilising what I had really, but that's highly unlikely this is going to lift up. Um, I think long term I'm going to have to 
think about what I'm going to do with this tree but at the moment I can't have everything I'm certainly not going to move it this time of year because it would wouldn't do it any good whatsoever it might even finish it off I don't want to do that but uh, yeah so I've gained myself a bit of growing extra growing space today and I've also got it set up so that I can extend the season both ends and I can grow melons in here if I want and um, another option that I may consider is I can take up the the flap of this like that and I can find a way to hold it back onto here and I could even grow runner beans up here so uh, you know with the top open so yeah certainly very happy that uh, I've managed to you know sort it out and the best thing was it didn't really get damaged during the time it blew away so yeah quite happy with my little setup there it's amazing really when you you know start just just playing around really you know in the garden or the allotment you you know I did roughly have an idea about doing this but I didn't quite know how it was going to you know work out but um, you know it has worked out and I've been chewing this over for a while but sometimes you just need a bit of time just to contemplate and think you know when you're going to uh, to do something as I stated in the previous video you know for me the whole gardening process is very much um, what is this? It's very much a sort of a development, really. You know, I very rarely have stuff in my head that I end up carrying out 100% to the letter, you know. Obviously, I have a general idea, but gen very rarely do I just, oh, no, it's going to be done like this, you know, put it all into little boxes and it gets created. It certainly hasn't been that way for me. So we're experiencing, um, like, cold weather at the cold, relatively cold, not, you know, a little bit colder than last year at this time of year so I'm still holding back on setting out a lot of stuff but won't be long now and you know it's going to be some epic setting going on so really excited about the uh, you know new options available to me now with my new little setup at the back there of the polytunnel that's actually just behind just behind there it is so yeah hope you enjoyed that if you like my work please feel free to like share subscribe